I want to talk to you today about listening to God's voice. You might say, how do we do that, Isaiah? How do we listen to God's voice? It might be difficult for some people, but I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. And I'm going to give some scripture as well. So let's get into it. Okay, welcome back everybody. If you like that little intro. I'm telling you, God has been doing amazing things. I've been, um, I wanna do, share a little thing, but God has been doing powerful things. Now I've, I've been doing those intros and the intro and everything, I'm doing the videos. Oh, gosh, it's been awesome. Um, I just tell Holy Spirit to lead me and guide me, you know. Um, People might be like, oh my gosh, how do you do this and everything? It's not really difficult. Um, I just tell God to lead me and guide me, and He does. Holy Spirit helps me, and uh, I just create, you know, different videos, different content, and everything. It's been powerful, you know. So I'm not gonna be on here long. Don't worry. And I always say that I know, but um, trust me, I'm not. Okay, let's go to Proverbs 1:31. Oh my gosh, this thing came up. No. Okay. Okay, I might. Okay, Proverbs 131. I mean, Proverbs 133. As soon as I got to slow down when I talk. I know, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so it says, But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. So, big key right here. Listen to God's voice. People might say, How do we do that, Isaiah? A lot of things. Uh, prayer. Reading the Word of God. You know, I always say, Holy Spirit, give me revelation. And speak to me, which you want me to share with the people. And even during prayer as well, I always say, Holy Spirit, speak through me. I'm just giving words to say. And give me dreams. You know, dreams are so important. And I always say, Father God, thank you. I have dreams from your throne room only. I have the mind of Christ. I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. And, to, and so important, too, people say, how do you listen to God's voice? You put all the distractions away. I think this is a big thing right here. Come on, somebody. You put on the, all the distractions away. Turn off the phone. Turn off the TV. Turn off the tablet. Whatever, whatever the heck you got. Turn it all off. And really lay down. Not on this not on this wood thing, because this thing hurts. I'm talking about like in your house, in the bed. Comfy, you know what I'm saying? Um, but lay down in your bed. And you lay down before God and you say, God, you know what? Minister to me. Minister to me, Holy Spirit speak to me this night and you just stay quiet and just like God and God I'm telling you God will it, it works for me and it, it, he will do it to you you just have to be available you have to be available and you can't be going to you can't be going mm, so busy that you don't that um, you can't hear God's voice you have to make yourself available. See, God is always speaking. People say, I don't hear God. I don't hear. He's always speaking. He's always talking. You have to make yourself available to truly get in the presence of God, to truly wait on God and be like, you know what? I'm going to put all distractions beside God. I'm just going to lock myself in my room. All distractions. I'm going to wait on you to minister to me. I'm going to wait on you. And sometimes too, you know what, I'll lay on the floor in my room. I'll lay on the floor, and I'll just let God speak to me. I'll put my Bible on my chest. I don't know, I'll just hold my Bible. And I'll just let God speak to me. I'll just say, God, you know what, minister to me, Lord Jesus. Speak, speak through me, Holy Spirit. Do what you want to do. Spirit on Him. And put it, you know what's so important to put it a man on the anointing. You know, people people say, um, oh, you can't have the answer by the morning. Yes, you can. If you truly want it, put it a man on the anointing and say, you know what, God, tomorrow morning, God, I am going to have the answer. It could be everything. It could be anything. I'm going to have the answer about this job. I'm going to have the answer about um, about um, about what you want me to speak about, about, you know, what's to my children. I'm going to have the answer in the morning. And I'm telling you, God will have it. God will, God will speak to you. God will speak to you. Okay. Okay. And Proverbs three, 
3, verse 5 through 6, okay? So it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understandings, and all your, oops, my bad, and all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Okay, I want to stop right here. Well, I would do that the whole thing, but you know what? Let's go back to verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understandings. Okay, this is so powerful. So powerful. Muy importante. Okay? Okay, so important. Um, understand, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It does not say trust in the Lord partially with your heart. No, it says trust in the Lord with all your heart. Every single thing, with all your heart, all your being, trust in the Lord, okay? And lean not on what? On your own things, because God knows if we start thinking on our thoughts. This happened to me as well. Our thoughts will, you know, will start thinking. Should I do it like this? Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot about this. Oh God, how about this, how about this, how about this? And God's like, you know what, are you gonna let me, are you gonna let me speak to you or do you just wanna think your own way? He says, lean not on your own things, lean not on your own thoughts, on your own ways. Don't lean on your own things. Lean on me. Man, that's powerful. Lean on me. You, should got, you guys should write that down. Do not lean on your own understandings, but lean on God. Lean on his understandings. Amen? That's powerful. Okay. Verse 6. Uh, in all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Okay. I'm going to break this apart. In all your ways, submit to him. That means in everything you do, submit to God. In everything you do. But God, I don't, I don't like this. Submit to me. But God, but yes, yeah, submit to me. But God, but I want to do this. Submit to me. Oh, this is my word. Submit to me. Okay? And he will make your paths straight. See, if we don't submit to God, our path is going to be crooked. Our path is going to be going, 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 going. Crooked. It's going to be a crooked path. But if we submit to him, what does it say? He will make your paths straight. Straight. Perfect. Golden. Beautiful. Lovely. And holy. That's what God wants to do with you. So I want to encourage you this day. I told you I wasn't going to be on here long. I hope I didn't, wasn't on too long. But I want to encourage you this day. Submit to Him. Trust in the Lord. Because I'm telling you, when you, you listen, listen to God's voice, He's always speaking. You just have to make yourself available to just lay down, come before God, and say, you know what, God? I'm just going to lay in your presence. I'm just going to lay in your presence now. Missed me. How long, Isaiah? Don't put a time limit on God. Don't put a time limit on God. Don't. I'm not putting a time limit on God. Just in His presence. Just rest in Him. I'm telling you, I'm going to minister to you every single thing that God wants to do in your life. It starts by listening and submitting to Him. We have to be the ones to make ourselves available to God. We have to make ourselves available. We can't be so busy that we're running from one thing to another and not taking time to listen to God. We have to make ourselves available and truly listen to Him. And say, you know what, God, what do you want me to do? What is your will for my life? And He'll begin to speak to you like never before. I want to encourage you guys with that today. I pray this has blessed you. I hope this didn't, wasn't too long. But guys, I love you so much. I want to personally, I want to thank you um, for taking time of the day to watch these videos, guys. Thank you so much. You have been a blessing in my life. I don't know why I'm doing that. But you have been a blessing in my life so much. Uh, like it, share, comment, do whatever you have to get the word out. And um, I'm telling you, this YouTube channel is going to grow. It's going to grow. It's going to be powerful. Um, supernatural things have been happening on this YouTube channel, and I'm really excited for what's gonna happen in the near future, you know? Um, but share this with somebody. I always say I'm gonna be a blessing to God's people. It's so important just to bless somebody. You might not have a known and be like, hey, you know what? You might just feel in your spirit as we turn this my phone, but um, I'm just, you should just be like, you know what? I wanna bless you with this video. Watch this guy, watch this guy. And, put, and you know what? You say, do you have YouTube? You know what? Look up this man. Look up this man, Antonio. 
build your faith up, build your spirits up, and so on. Because this YouTube channel is going to truly grow and use the comments. It's going to be a powerful thing, and I don't want you guys to miss it. So be part, truly be part of what God is doing. Because I'm telling you, he's going to, this is going to be supernatural what God is going to do in years to come. This is only the second year of me doing this um, whole YouTube channel. And man, in these two years, it's, it's, it's blown my mind. I mean, it's, it's expanded. It's, it's, it's really expanded. I'm really excited to see what God is going to do in 2024, uh, 2025. This is going to be a powerful time. I don't want you guys to miss it. So um, share it with everybody you know. Subscribe and like this video, okay? And comment, guys. Comment, uh, share me, uh, do testimonies, you know? And let me know what you guys got uh, gotten out of these videos. I, I want to know. Because that, that would really bless me, okay? So guys, I love you. God loves you. And God bless you. And I will see you guys next time.